lot of the scenes were here climbing up when Katniss is fighting hand-to-hand -hand combat. Most, most of that was done right here, so kind of right at the edge of the dock right there. Um, this is completely un, unfriendly water. So we're standing this on top was about of it 10 right degrees now. warmer. Yeah, yeah, we're, <laughs> we're literally in the mouth of the cornucopia right now. So you had long shots that were over here. They had cameras set up uh, on the VIP complex shooting back this way for long shots, but most of the camera equipment was all based around the cornucopia. Was the one thing that the production wanted to keep most shielded from the press and prying eyes. And so using a closed down water park in the south side of Atlanta, where probably not a lot of people would be looking for that type of production. Uh, they built massive shields all the way around the facility. And then wouldn't you know, the second day of shooting, the Google Earth um, yeah. satellite just happened to pass over. I don't know how that happened and get a really nice shot of uh, the completed cornea, cornucopia once everything was actually taken taken off. So um, I don't know how that ended up getting online, but uh, but it did. Obviously, as a community, we were thrilled for the leak, um, but also wanted to protect the uh, production itself. But so the rocks around the cornucopia had to be recreated over here as well. So imagine a big lazy Susan or a big turntable with a portion of the cornucopia and it was on a, it was on a essentially a, a motorized pedestal. So the tributes got onto the pedestal, they did them in sequences and they physically moved it around. So the stuff that you see in the background, the water splashing, um, the, the background spinning, you know, the tree spinning behind, that was CG'd in, but the primary movement of that and, and the tributes actually falling off of the, uh, of the foam on the pads was all done right here. So they accomplished that by stacking large containers. So if you're going down the road and you see a truck that has one of those 40 foot containers, looks like it came off a ship, it's got clothes or you know food or whatever in it. They stack those um, four high and they use that to create a green screen. So not only shielded the production itself, but that's a pretty common tactic in the uh, in the film industry to create large uh, green screens. We're actually working with a production right now in another part of the county, a large budget film uh, that's going eight high, stacking eight high on those, and they're going to literally run one large green uh, paint scheme across the entire thing, and they're going to be jumping cars and exploding them into what will be CG'd into a mountain, I think. Um, but it's it's in just a random parking lot in a, in a part of the county, so. Pretty common that they do that, and it also protects kind of prying eyes. This is an active um, park. It is open 365 days a year. So the perimeter is literally that fence right there. This is one of our busiest roads that runs right along here. So a lot of fencing, a lot of security. We had uh, quite a bit of paparazzi um, uh, issues, uh, but for the most part, it was fairly uneventful. It really didn't um, make the press until, until that Google Earth image came out.